Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, cool. Wall in China recently to show off his dance moves. Three, two, one, go. Cao Yun, the most beautiful flower. Red, red, Elon Musk casually dropped this. Something that would be, I think, super cool would be to, and so we're going to do it, uh, I mean, we're going to try to do it, is uh, to create a, um, a China design and engineering center to actually design a, a, an original car in China for worldwide consumption. I think this will be very exciting. Um, I think China has some of the best art in the world. Uh, and if, like, And, and I think it's something that, that would be appreciated on a, on a worldwide basis. And I think it sh should be done. And you know, we're going to do it. Um, you know, tr try something just like kind of radical, you know, like Cybertruck, you know. <laughs> Nobody was expecting that, you know. And that's, uh, it's so, we just, I think we should try to do something just like, you know, like just cool and different and something the world hasn't seen before. Uh, but like that really moves their heart, you know, it gets you right there. And that's, that's the kind of part that you want. We wish there were more of those things in the world. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. So. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Uh, it was just an honor of being here. This is one of the coolest places on Earth. Uh, so, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Tesla China has since started advertising for positions in its design studio, indicating Musk intends to move forward with this immediately. This has me wondering, what type of vehicle would Tesla design? What makes the most sense given all the available information? I won't speculate on aesthetics, but I will speculate more broadly about features and function. Tesla is systematically tackling most major segments of the auto market. The S, 3, X, Y, Cybertruck, Roadster and Semi mean Tesla has entrance in the large sedan, mid-sized sedan, large SUV, crossover, pickup truck, sports car and freight transport categories. Missing is a compact car, ideal for densely populated cities, singles and budget buyers. Given that compacts and subcompacts make up a combined 29% of the new vehicle market, this is a massive piece of the pie for Tesla to miss out on. Tesla has always made safety their number one priority. The S, 3 and X are the three safest vehicles ever tested. Small cars are inherently less safe than large cars. This is a fact of physics. All other things being equal, less mass in a collision means you're coming off second best. This is why boxing has weight divisions. As it stands today, making a compact car would force Tesla into a situation where they'd be producing less safe vehicles than they're known for. Why would they do this? Well, they wouldn't. Wait, what? Then why am I speculating they will? I'm glad you asked. See, Tesla is working on fully autonomous vehicles. Tesla knows they're close to solving full self-driving. Their baseline goal is to be at least 10 times safer than a human driver. If collisions occur far less often, and those that do are far less significant because the full self-driving computer braked sooner or took evasive action, then a small car is far less of a safety issue. You can't be injured in an accident that doesn't happen. So let's look at the reasons why I think Tesla will make a compact car and, while doing so, will simultaneously reinvent what a vehicle is. Before we dive in, this is pure speculation, so don't get your panties in a twist. Tesla has told us approximately f all about this new vehicle, so our imaginations are all we've got. City living. A few hundred years ago, almost everyone farmed for a living, believed in God, and resolved disputes with merciless violence. As technology has progressed, the world's knowledge has advanced, its population has exploded, productivity has skyrocketed, and people have moved to cities in droves. Ask anyone who rents or owns an apartment in New York, Sydney, London, or Hong Kong, and they will tell you space comes at an enormous premium. Should I spend the extra half a million dollars for a bigger garage or a bigger bedroom? Do I want a kitchen or will I just eat out for every meal? A tiny car is perfect for city living. Maneuvering through busy, crammed streets, squeezing into car space is too big for others, having enough room in your garage to park your car and store your bike and keep your blow-up doll collection is invaluable. Still unconvinced how important and valuable space is in a city? Visit one of these cities and try, just try, to find a pickup truck. If you do manage to find one, ask the driver where they came from. Less is more. The heavier an object is, the more energy is needed to move it. You probably know this, it's basic physics. 
So the less massive an electric vehicle is, the less energy is needed, which means a smaller battery is needed, which not only brings the cost down dramatically, the battery is the most expensive component in a Tesla, but physically removing some of the battery means even less mass, which means even more efficiency, which means even more battery can be removed, which means even more weight is saved, blah, blah. It's a cycle. This compounding effect is huge. Even incremental improvements in efficiency can make an enormous difference to price and performance. My suspicion is that Tesla will be looking to create an ultra-light, hyper-efficient car. We already know Tesla's battery and powertrain technology is years ahead of everyone else. This means Tesla will be able to undercut competitors on price and outdo them on range. I mean, how do you even compete with that? A Tesla compact car would be far cheaper to run than anything comparable unless somebody has a major battery breakthrough and it's not Tesla themselves. Small car, huge market. As I mentioned, compact and subcompact vehicles make up 29% of the new vehicle market. Nearly one third of the 90 million vehicles sold annually are compact. This is a stupidly large market and with safety concerns addressed by full self-driving, Tesla would be insane not to go after a big slice of it. What's interesting here is that not only does entering the compact car market expand Tesla's potential pool of buyers by tens of millions, but such a car would be dramatically cheaper to produce and therefore buy than any other Tesla on the market. My guess would be in the 20,000s. Just for fun, let's imagine what could happen if Tesla sold a $25,000 car in the compact market. Capturing just 1% of this market, which is 300,000 units a year, would bring in $7.5 billion in revenue. Or maybe they take 5% of the market, which is 1.5 million units a year, or $37.5 billion in revenue, far more than the entire Tesla business did in 2018. The potential is enormous. From an investor's point of view, this gets me very excited. The robo-taxi fleet. Now, here's the kicker, and it ties into the last point. When Tesla solves full self-driving and owners can add their vehicles to the fleet of robo-taxis to make them money at any time of day or night, the dynamic of car ownership is flipped on its head. Now, instead of a car being a depreciating asset that costs you money, it could be an appreciating asset that makes you money. Imagine a $25,000 car that earns you $10,000 a year in robo-taxi fares. In three years, it's paid for itself entirely. This is enormous and will make car ownership possible for millions of people who previously couldn't afford to own. The second reason I bring up the robo-taxi fleet is regarding the design of the vehicle itself. What a car is changes entirely when it can drive itself from point A to point B. Everything can be reimagined. I believe Tesla wants to create a new type of vehicle, completely rethought. There is no driver, so there's no need to have eyes on the road. Infotainment becomes a primary feature and we know how great Tesla is at software. The possibilities are endless. Perhaps seating configurations that allow for sleep in transit will be implemented. This could be a boon for escorts and put love hotels out of business. When what was once unproductive driving time is newly liberated as productive time, everything changes. Imagine starting your workday the moment you begin your commute, or now having the time to meditate, work on your novel, catch up on Netflix, get frisky in the back seat, own noobs, or watch your favourite YouTube channel, all while the car drives itself. Maybe Tesla will find ways to seat six plus people for high density compact transit, or go even smaller, who knows? The only thing I'm confident of is that Tesla will be designing this vehicle with the robo-taxi fleet in mind. Tesla knows they're on the cusp of solving full self-driving. It would be unquestionably moronic not to be designing this new vehicle with autonomy in mind. Will it definitely be a compact car? No. Does it make sense? Yes. Otherwise, Tesla is missing out on a third of the new vehicle market. This goes against their mission of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable transport. Will it look like other Teslas? Unlikely. Musk has hinted that this will be a novel design, plus, I mean, Cybertruck. What does a Tesla even look like? At the end of the day, I'm happy to be wrong, but based on the information at hand, I'm confident in speculating that the vehicle Tesla designs in China for worldwide consumption will be cheap, compact, hyper-efficient, and feature a revolutionary design, a complete reimagining of what a vehicle is. The first mass market car designed with fully autonomous driving as a given. I don't know what it will look like. I don't know what it will cost. But I do know, if Tesla makes a compact vehicle, they're going to turn on a multi-billion dollar revenue stream that could eat the lunch of automakers the world over and reinvent what a car is. Dominating a single vehicle category would be awesome, but Tesla appears to be systematically going after every single one of them. My only question is, how many vehicle categories will Tesla dominate and how many will they merely participate in? I'm Stephen Mark Ryan, this is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all.
Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Tesla will make a compact car or something else? What features do you imagine it will or won't have? How much would it sell for? Would you buy one? How would you design a compact car? And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. This channel has kind of blown up since it launched, and I'm working on making the best possible content for you guys, but it takes time. Consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem, so I can continue creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. Either way, the best kind of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.